hello guys welcome back to my channel so in this tutorial we are going to learn the use of access token which we have you know uh, fetched in my previous tutorial so those who are new to my channel i would like to just give a brief idea about what we have in this current series so previously we have learned how to generate an access token of big buck any big bucket account and how to generate a new access token using the refresh token so now we are going to learn how we can utilize those access token to the big bucket api so we'll just look for the user api so what we are going to do in this we will uh, use the access token and we will just get the information of that particular user so let's jump back to the uh, bitbucket documentation api documentation so this is the url so i'll put this url in the uh, description box so we need to just browse this and first thing first we need to get the endpoint of the bitbucket cloud view api okay so i so there is one section that is add on and we we'll just click on it so they have mentioned over here https colon forward slash api dot big bucket dot org 2.0 and add on so add on this is the method okay uh, this is the another endpoint so we will need this thing only so this is the endpoint of big bucket cloud api so what we gonna do we'll just uh, copy this url and uh, we will paste in our postman okay so this is the end uh, base url you can say and now we what we want we want to use uh, get the user information so this is the api so you can see the resource url slash 2.0 slash user okay and what we have base url uh, api dot bitbucket org slash 2.0 slash so what is the input to use user okay now let's try to hit this api what we get so we get nothing and there is a one status that is 401 unauthorized okay why because like we haven't passed any you know token or anything to you know recognize the big bucket api for what we are requesting or for what user we have requested so we have a access token we will what we will just copy this and uh, if you see here like there is a token type there so we need to pass this token type as a bearer so in header section so the key will be authorization and value will be bearer okay and space i'll just paste this token and let's try to hit this app. yeah so we have now get the got the information of that particular user so this is the user the username the name and the links other links so if you see that this account we have authorized previously in my first uh, tutorial so if i go to the user account so there is the username if you can able to see this this is a deepak underscore kumbar 46 and uh, these are the these are the other things like uh, the name the workspace name and the other thing so this was the use of the access token if we, we want to access the api we want to use the apis of bitbucket we can use the access token so there is one another thing we can use uh, so if you copy this url and if you try to hit this url in browser it will directly show you the details of the logged in users user in this particular browser i have just logged in on the uh, with this account and it is showing me that particular user okay so this is the use of uh, token and uh, this is how we can get the user details of bit bucket so yeah thank you so much uh, if you have any doubts you can comment in the, again <laughs> you can comment in the comment section and yes 